And I thought, oh, no, 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 no. This is what people are talking about. Hi, I asked everyone in the community today if they would like me to do one more Jada and Will video because I had a really juicy little tidbit that I've discovered. And it was in the process of I'm reading Will's book, Will, and I've been comparing it against Jada's book, Worthy. Now, it's been a little bit disappointing because a lot of the timelines, a lot of the stories so far, so far, are actually adding up, which is, you know, that's so disappointing. I wanted to have a big reveal <laughs> and find something exciting. But anyway, I did find something really, really juicy and I want to see what you think. Now, when I made my Jada Pinkett Smith video, I have had quite a few interesting interactions in the comments that have really made me think twice. And I do want to explain something about my reaction. You know, Lindy Chamberlain, the story about Lindy Chamberlain, where her baby went missing at Ayers Rock and she was actually accused of murdering her baby and was thrown in jail. Well, it's really interesting that case because everybody pretty much convicted her without enough evidence because they didn't like her. She rubbed people the wrong way. She was just not a very likable character. She just didn't have that sort of demeanor that you warm to. Now, Part of me felt that a little bit of the reaction to Jada Pinkett Smith could have been brought about because she isn't very likable. She's got this sort of steely undercurrent. She's not warm at all. She's not what I would call a woman's woman. She's not a woman that other women relate to easily. And so I thought, well, maybe that is sort of colouring people's perception without enough evidence. OK, well, I did find a little story and I want to know what you think, because... When I found this story, when I first walked into the room to sit down to record, I was thinking negatively of Will Smith due to this story. I was thinking that it made it, it sort of made him look a little bit narcissistic. Um, and I was thinking that this is a negative Will Smith story. But by the time I set up the camera, I switched and I realized and I thought, oh, no, 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 no. This is what people are talking about. This is what people are saying about Jada Pinkett Smith. So 180, <laughs> right? So now I'm just going to share the story with you. I'm going to tell you the two different viewpoints I have. And then I want you to share what you think in the comments down below. And the reason why this really excites me is you know how I'm always saying that tiny, tiny little bits of a story, tiny bits of a book, often that other people overlook, tell the real story? Well, I think this might be one of those. I think this might be a very special little nugget of information. Okay, so the bit opens, Will actually sets a scene that they're going to have a family monopoly game on Christmas Eve. This year, Jada decided that we were going to enjoy a family game of Monopoly. Just for a little context, I'm a master Monopoly player. This is Will saying this. This is not a joke. I am not saying it to be facetious. This is not hyperbole. I have studied. I have worked with professional instructors. I fully intended to play international Monopoly tournaments when the dice hit. I don't have to count squares. Okay. So it's Jada's idea to have a family Monopoly game and she knows that he's a master player and has been studying it, intending to become a professional. Okay. Bit of background there. Now, so they're playing and it turns out that Willow is doing okay. Um, Jaden is pretty savvy. He won't do deals with Will Smith. And Trey is holding his own and really challenging Will Smith. And Jada is no threat. She's just not really, you know, she's coming fourth, right? And I oh don't know, she'd be coming fifth. And so she's not a threat to Will Smith. But in the process of playing, she lands on a particular property and it's one of her properties. And Will has this reaction. Yes, I scream, clapping my hands, causing the motion activated Rudolph to slowly turn and see what the noise was because it's all set up for Christmas. 
Pacific is Jada's property, so no one can understand why this is such an exciting moment for me. To the untrained eye, she just landed on her own property. But then he goes on to explain that statistically with Monopoly, evidently the chances of you rolling a six or an eight are really high. And if she was to roll a six or an eight, she would land on either one or the other of one of his properties. So he decides, therefore, to mortgage everything he owns and get three houses on each of those properties, whereupon if she did land on them, she would be wiped out completely wiped out of the game. So he proceeds to do that and Jaden's the banker and he's doing all this and um, when it gets ready for her to then roll, she says, are you sure you want to do this? And he sort of says, oh yeah, I want to do this. Come on, baby, like roll six or eight. And what she then says is really, really interesting. She remains steady, not breaking her gaze with Will Smith and she says, so you are sure that you want to put your wife out of the family monopoly game with your children on Christmas Eve. I finally turned and catch eyes with her and was totally certain I wanted to do that <laughs> before she put the emphasis on these key words, wife, family, children, Christmas Eve. That's quite manipulative isn't it? If you can't stand the Monopoly heat, you've got to stay out of the Monopoly kitchen, Jada, I said jokingly. So then she proceeds to sort of roll the dice in her hands and really take her time before she rolls them. And she's implying to him with her actions that she's giving him time to recant, giving him time to change his mind and take the houses off or whatever, right? So they're playing this really hyper-competitive game. There's been no suggestion that there's been any sort of concessions made up to that point. All the kids are playing to the best of their ability. Trey is really challenging Will Smith. And like I said, Jada was coming last anyway. So maybe she wasn't that invested or maybe she was setting something up. I don't know. See? See what I'm thinking? So she rolls and, yep, she lands on his properties and, of course, she's wiped out. Now, Jada turns her property into the banker, Jaden, kisses Willow, touches Trey's hair and heads off to bed, which means it is brought about that there and then Will Smith has actually sort of wrecked the family Monopoly game on Christmas Eve. And then he goes on to say in the book, and I won't bore you with it, but he basically beats himself up for the fact that he was hyper competitive and he should have realised it was inappropriate in that situation and he couldn't help himself and he didn't horses for courses. But no, if you're having a family Monopoly game, you are hyper competitive. Don't, aren't you competitive when you play a family game? I mean, we are ruthless when we play a family ball game. We, we laugh and have fun, but we're ruthless and we're competitive and whoever wins really wins because we taught our kids from the get-go that, you know, we're not going to let them win anything because that's how they're taught to be, you know, good losers. They, you think you, I've never let my children win. Oh, when they're real tiny little toddlers, yeah. You know, if you're playing snap and you go really slowly so they can win the cards, that's different. But when you've got teens, you know, late teens and that, you, you're highly competitive. Even from the age of seven on, we were competitive and we let them know, right? So it's not wrong to be hyper-competitive in a family game. And then I thought, well, look, Jada could have handled it a lot better because the way I would have handled it, I would have said, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? And I would have been laughing with him and everything. And then I would have said, well, there's no way, buddy, there's no way you're going to wipe me out. And I would have been, you know, riffing with him and making the kids laugh and stuff, right? And then when I lost, I would have done, I wouldn't have done the big martyr kiss and touch the hair and go off to bed I would have said oh, all right I'll go and make some popcorn then or oh does anyone want a drink or what about I go and get everyone ice creams or I'd sit next to my husband and say okay all right but now we're going to team up and we're going to smash the kids right 
So there's all ways that you could make that situation into a fun, competitive situation, unless you were trying to prove a point. And the point that she made was inappropriate because of the time and the place and who it was in front of. So this tiny little story has illustrated to me what people were trying to tell me in the comments. But then again, people could see it the other side about Will Smith. People could determine that he was in some way doing something wrong in that situation. So I'm going to hand it over to you. I think that that actually proves what people were trying to tell me about her. But I'll hand it over to you. And I would really like everyone to keep their comments limited to this scenario that I've presented. And let's toss it around and let's see who thinks what and why. Okay? All right. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.